Drive Super Doppler 4 HD weather forecast. Scattered showers, thunderstorms continue to march across the area. As you can see, the really the Midlands, the Low Country, and the beaches all enjoyed a pretty nice afternoon. As you can see, it was very hot, very humid. Then again, it is summertime. And then look at all these showers and thunderstorms back and through Tennessee and also into northern Alabama. This is one front. We have a secondary front that's right on its heels. So it's a kind of a one two punch that's going to give us our showers and thunderstorms. So not everybody's going to get wet, unfortunately, uh, but most of us should see showers, at least some rain, as we go through the next 24 hours across the area. As you can see, live Super Doppler 4 HD was fairly busy. Thunderstorms that rumbled across the area, moving from northwest to southeast at about 20 to 25 miles per hour. So, really, the steering currents up aloft actually picked up speed, which is good news because I was afraid that these th thunderstorms would really slow down and with very little movement, we could see even some street flooding, but that's not the case. The, the heaviest thunderstorms really that fired up southwestern mountains of North Carolina and also these clusters of thunderstorms that developed in southern part. Uh, they really intensified in southern Spartanburg County, northern Lawrence County, then moved through Union County, and now beginning to move into York and Chester counties. But uh, they weren't severe. The main threat for these thunderstorms will be very heavy rain and lots and lots of lightning. Things fairly quiet through western North Carolina, at least and through Buncombe County right now in Asheville. And there's the scattered showers and thunderstorms moving through Bryson City, some rain, and back and through Graham and also in through Cherokee counties. The upstate fairly quiet now. There are those thunderstorms. Continuing to make there actually some thunderstorms moving through uh, Athens right now back into northeastern Georgia and around Danielsville and also in around Commerce, uh, mainly south of I-85 and continuing to make their way off to the east. Closer look at these thunderstorms now moving out of Union County into northwestern and western part of Chester County and southwestern York County. Very heavy rain, lots and lots of lightning. Very scattered in nature, so not everybody saw rain, unfortunately. Officially at the Anderson Airport, no rain, only two hundredths of an inch of rain in Greenwood. And at the GSP National Airport, only seven hundredths of an inch of rain. However, a little over four tenths of an inch of rain fell at the Greenwood downtown airport with some very heavy thunderstorms and look at this a heavy thunderstorm went over the Asheville Regional Airport dumped almost one inch of rain in a very short period of time a uh, live shot this is actually on top of Paris Mountain uh, 93 degrees was our official high at the GSP National Airport three degrees above the average but fairly far from the record high of 102 set back in 1952 87 the high this afternoon at the Asheville Regional Airport four degrees above the average 10 degrees away from the record on the state of 97 degrees set back in 1952 so Temperatures where you see the cooler temperatures, that's where you most likely have had some rain, at least recently. Uh, winds are light and variable across the air, except gusty near some of the thunderstorms. Humidity levels remaining high. 93 right now in Columbia, also in Atlanta, and in New Orleans, for that matter. So here's our first front coming through this evening. It'll push the showers and thunderstorms through. Uh, another batch will move into western North Carolina, North Georgia, and by tomorrow morning, maybe a few leftover rain showers with this one front. It kind of slowly washes away. Secondary front doesn't seem to be very active by tomorrow afternoon. We'll have to wait and see on that. Tonight, muggy conditions with scattered showers and thunderstorms mainly this evening. For tomorrow in the greenville sparberg Anderson area, variable clouds, some sun from time to time, 40% chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms starting off at 76 degrees, warming up to 81 at lunchtime. Asheville, Henderson Valley for tomorrow, patchy fog, otherwise scattered showers and thunderstorms only have a 30% chance, and mainly in the morning, warming up to about 82 degrees at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Four-day plus looks like this, then we dry out and heat up at Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Head into the holiday weekend, best chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms will be on Monday, the 4th of July, and some of those thunderstorms will be mainly in the afternoon and evening. Few showers around for the mountains, but no thunder.